Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. Today in grade five, we are working on module two, lesson number 17. And today we are using basic math facts to approximate quotients with two digit divisors. So we're basically just doing some estimating today. We will not be calculating exact answers. That's not what we're after here. We'll just be doing some estimating. This will really help us further down the road when we're, we're doing our real standard algorithm division so that when we get done with our division, we have a quick check to be able to see if we're on the right path. All right, let's take a look at a couple problems from tonight's homework. Problem number one, directions are fairly simple. Estimate the quotient for the following problems. The first one is done for you. And I'm gonna remind you here that we've done some of these in class. And when we get problems like this, the first thing we do is we actually estimate the divisor. Uh, we estimate the divisor first, and then we look to see how many multiples of that divisor we could find to make a, an estimated whole. So let's look, how they did, look at how they did number one. They started with the problem 821 divided by 41. And the first thing they did is they took the divisor, 41, and they said, well, let's see, let's estimate that. They noticed that there was four tens in 41. They noticed that it was much closer to four tens than five tens. And so they estimated our divisor as 40. And then they started looking for a whole that was, that was a multiple of uh, our divisor and that was pretty close to our original number. So they probably started counting up here with four tens. And let's see, four tens, eight tens, 12 tens. And they kept going and going and going. And when they finally got up to 80 tens, 80 tens, they were very close to, um, they were very close to this number. And they decided to settle with 800, 800 as their whole, that it was a multiple of 40 and that it was close to their number. Now, me, I would have settled on 840. But this, we're just estimating here, so everybody's style is going to be a little bit different. And when they went ahead and did the mental math then of their resulting estimate, that's 800 divided by 40, they noticed that this is just the same as 80 tens divided by 4 uh, tens, and 80 divided by 4 is 20 of anything, including tens. So they ended up coming with an estimate of, uh, ten, of 20. Let's take a look at how that would work for number 1b. We start off our whole is 617, and our divisor is 23. So again, the first thing we're going to do is estimate our divisor. So I'm noticing that there are two tens in this divisor, and I'm noticing that it's a lot closer to two tens than three tens. So I'm going to estimate my divisor at a simple 20. And then I'm going to start uh, doing multiples of 20 until I get up to some number that's pretty close to our, uh, our actual specific whole. So let's see, 20... 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300. Oh, I know I'm going to get all the way up to 400, all the way up to 500. I can get all the way up to 600, and let's see, do I want to go to the next multiple, 600 or 620? Well, I'm noticing 617, it's very close to 620, so I'm going to settle on that, 620 as my estimated whole. And now I can do this probably as mental math. I'm noticing that there's tens in both of these, so I could divide both of those by 10 if I wanted to and get rid of them, or I could think of them as simply 62 tens divided by two tens. And 62 of anything divided by two of anything is 31. And so that's gonna be our estimate, 31. Uh, once we've estimated our divisor and we've estimated our whole, we can get our estimated quotient. Let's take a look at 1D. 1D, the specific number is 482 divided by 52. Again, I'm going to look at that divisor first. Let's see, I notice that there are five tens there, and I'm wondering, is that closer to five tens or six tens? But I look at its neighbor here, and I think, oh yeah, that's much closer to five tens. So I'm going to settle on an estimated divisor of 50. And then I'm going to go ahead and do multiples of 50 until I get up to near my whole. So 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, so it's actually, it's right between 450 and 500, but I'm noticing that it's closer to 500, so I'm going to settle on 500 as my estimated whole. And this makes for a very easy division indeed, right? 50 of something divided by 5 of something, in this case 50 tens divided by 5 tens, is going to be simply 10, right? 500 divided into 50 parts is going to give us 10 in each part. Awesome. So again, we're not figuring out our specific problems today. We're not trying to come up with an answer for this. We're coming up, trying to come up with an estimated whole, an estimated divisor, which gives us an estimated quotient. Awesome. Let's take a look at one more problem. This one's a word problem. We're asked to do the following. An oil well produces 172 gallons of oil every day. A standard oil barrel holds 42 gallons of oil. About how many barrels of oil will the well produce in one day? Explain your thinking. Well, with word problems, we usually use a read, 
draw and write strategy. We've read it. Now let's try to draw it. Let's see. We've got, there's an amount of oil that is 172 gallons, right? That's how much the oil well produces. And then we're told that a barrel, let's see, I'm going to do this in red, a barrel holds 42 gallons. Let's see. And then the question is basically, how many of these, I'm going to do that in red, how many of these barrels are there? One, two, three, maybe four, maybe five. How many barrels fit in there? That's our question, right? How many barrels? So this looks like a division problem, right? We're going to divide 172 divided by 42. But I'm noticing when I'm rereading here, it says about how many barrels. So it's not asking us for a specific answer of 172 divided by 42. We can go ahead and estimate. So let's do what we did on our previous problem. Let's look at our divisor, 42. Let's see, there's four tens in 42. And I'm noticing that that's a lot closer to four tens, just two over, than it is to five tens. So I'm just going to say that we're going to do an estimated problem. We're going to divide by 40. And then I have to see what multiples of 40 I could do to get an estimated whole. So let's see, if I thought that this is 40, 80, 120, 160, let's see, that's pretty close. Let's see, if we go one more, 200, oh, that's getting further away. So I'm going to say that this is 160. It's an, Our estimate would be this is about 160. And now I can go ahead and do this probably in my head. I can say, well, this is 16 tens divided by 4 tens, and 16 of anything divided by 4 of that same thing is going to be 4 of it, right? We're simply going to have 4. And that actually kind of squares with the way I happen to draw it this way, that we think about 4 barrels will go uh, in this 172 gallons. So I'm going to say our right part is going to be, um, it's going to be something like the well produces about four barrels a day. Oof, my why they're terrible. But now we've done our redraw and write strategy, and we've come up with an, a reason. We've come up with our drawing, and we've explained that we're doing an estimate, and we've given our answer. So I think that's good enough for our word problem for today. So I hope that's good enough for your homework today. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I will see you again next time. Take care.